Industrial archaeology is a, the application of archaeological modes of thought and inquiry and research to problems of the industrial age, thinking about the history of work and the transformation of the globe that happened in the industrial era. We were drawn here because we had students fascinated in the history of the cliff. And it's the Copper Country's first profitable mine, the mine that became this world famous place that made the district, that gave everybody confidence that you could make money mining here. And so as the first and the biggest and the earliest, it is this mine that creates a laboratory where people invented how to live in the Copper Country in the 1840s, 50s, and 60s. We are exploring the historical development of the food system for Clifton. I, in particular, am wondering how the people of Clifton fed themselves, especially in their early years here. We came across items like this, large pieces of bone from animals that were butchered for food, and uh, then we also recovered wood, um, milled wood, and that got us really intrigued that maybe we were on top of a building. The community of Cliff grows up around the mine, and the mine begins in the 1840s, in 1844 and 45, and they're working, and it's a smaller community at that point. But then by 1849, uh, they pay their, their, uh, their investors a profit, and the community explodes as this becomes an industrial working mine. Um, so that by a mere 10 years later, there's 1,500 people living here. People cared about having the latest things, even, even in this isolated area. And I think that's just interesting, that they kind of wanted to keep up with their, um, their cultures that they may have brought over from Europe. And that setting a table with fine dishes was very important. And it was this cultural thing that just was necessary for them to keep um, the little pipe fragments, smoking pipe fragments, are interesting as well. The carved ones showing versus non-carved, showing maybe social status. And um, there's just all those little personal items that I have enjoyed the most. In, in Western culture and American culture, so many things changed at that point um, as a result of industrialization. And so many of those changes are things that we still experience now. You know, the timing of our workday, the way that we live in our homes, the way that we move back and forth within our towns that we live in, that comes from the industrial period. So we have this combination of an, an amazing resource to study, fascinating historical questions, technological questions, social questions, and it's close by, which allows students to enroll in track A courses besides the field school and still participate. I think th what I enjoy the most is l noticing how it has affected and the environment but then how the environment has changed since then and what the environment continues to do and and the questions that come up with well what should we do about certain things if um, should we remediate should we not you know all of these very interesting questions come up so we've recovered um, and exposed more of the wooden floor that we found last season um, we have quite a lot of refuse from people who were living here and dumping their trash in the area post 1850s. We have some artifacts. They're definitely dated to the early to mid 1850s. So in the early period of occupation in Clifton, this is very exciting. This was the birth of the Copper Rush. This was the birth of the Copper Country, Clifton.